This is one of the reasons why you'll never find me driving around a lake in a fancy car. Whenever I'm going fishing, I've got my fishing motor, which cost me about 500 to 1,000 pounds. I'm off round to what's known as last stop at Northy Park. Let's see how we get on. A bit speechless at the moment because uh, it's only my second trip to Northy Park this year and I've gone and caught the big one. So uh, I don't know whether that's luck or the bait or or what basically, but uh, yeah, it's half five, quarter to six in the morning and I'm proper buzzing. That's a fish called Kitch at 47 and a half. And uh, yeah, he was 50 pounds last year, 51 something when Dave Lane had him. He was 51 something earlier this year as well. So he's obviously spawned and dropped a little bit of weight, but uh, yeah, great to catch him, great to see him. Um, wasn't really sure it was that fish either when I caught it, but uh, we'll have a look at it on the bank in a minute. Well, it was a relentless night of rain last night. That's all I can say. The uh, the bivy, which is just around here, was just like a was sitting under a drum because it was just literally just all night long, bang, 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 and I've had hardly any sleep, or I feel like I've had hardly any sleep. But at first light, right in the middle of a really weird dream, which I won't tell you about, um, I've had a series of bleeps, two or three bleeps, and came out to the rod, saw it twitching, but wasn't sure whether it was one of those tufted ducks that's just out there. Now those ducks, when I was setting up yesterday, were driving me insane, they were just diving down relentlessly. It's only shallow water, this place. And uh, I looked, tried to focus, because I'm getting old now, the eyes don't focus as well as they used to, and couldn't see a duck in sight, so I hit into it. And yeah, there was a fish on the end, it didn't do a great deal. Now, uh, last, last week when I was in this swim, this is called Last Stop, and obviously we're at Northy Park, um, the, I managed to lose two fish in here, on the, the weed beds that's just down here. But on that occasion, both of those fish went ballistic, and on this occasion, this fish didn't do a great deal, so I did wonder in my me, me head, I wonder which fish it is, because uh, the biggest fish in here called Kitch is known for not fighting. Uh, when Laney had it last year, it didn't fight, and then uh, this one didn't do anything, and then it just weeded me up, and I obviously put the rod down back on the rest, left it a while, and it started twitching, pulled a little bit more, it didn't come, and then uh, did it again. And about five or ten minutes later, obviously, the rod started to go, so then I heaved it in and went into the water just down there to net it, just on the edge of those pads. And wasn't really sure it was kitsch to start with because uh, it didn't really look that big because I wonder if it's because I've been at Rainbow Lake recently and had a few big ones, but uh, it didn't look massive. Went in and then obviously pulled it onto the shore and, yeah, started to get a little bit bigger by the, by the minute. And then when I weighed him in, I got him at 47 and a half, so... Uh, yeah, great start to me uh, to me season on here. On on only my second trip down this year, so a little bit jammy, but uh, sometimes a good bait and a little bit of uh, good fortune comes your way. So yeah, had a great season so far. Proper buzzing. So let's have a look at the fish anyway. There you go, magnificent carp. Dreamed of catching this one, as all anglers do. We're members of this syndicate, so to get him on only my third trip this year. Proper jammy. Buzzing, really happy. I don't smile very often, but I am today. 